concept get us how are you i hope everything is going well guys yo i've been hesitating to do this theorem i don't know for how long so far but because i thought it's easy right but i'm like no man there are people obviously out there who would like to actually see this as simple as other concept get us see it right so i'm like let me just do it so let's just do this one they want us to prove the slightly quadrilateral theorem that states that uh, interior opposite angles of a slightly quad are supplementary meaning they add up to 180 degrees so as you can see on your screen we have proved that dab dab is which one they're saying d a b d a b is this one right which is this one here they want us to prove that this plus b c d b c d meaning this one here they say want to prove that this plus this will give us 180 degrees so obviously guys every time when you want to prove a slightly quad the first thing that you're going to do is okay the first step is to write the required to prove which is your rtp then you do your construction right always when it comes to grade 11 uh, grade 11 Euclidean geometry questions, all of them will require you to draw or to construct the radii. All of them. So even with this one, you're going to have to construct radii. So let's construct the radii. We're going to start with, uh, let me show you the constructed radii. You're going to start here. You're going to say, I'll construct radii to B and then the radius to B and then radius to D. So these are your radii O, D and O, B. That's your first construction. And then the second thing is that you're going to label your center, which means this part here will be O1, right? So you'll say it's O1. And then this part here will be O2. So you'll say 2. That's the first thing you should always start with. Then you're going to write your required to prove now with E. So you'll say I'm proving that A plus C is 180. So let me write them. I'm going to say angle A plus angle C should give me 180 degrees that's what is required to prove rtp required to prove right now construction you're gonna write down exactly what you constructed so you can start with the centers right you're gonna say i constructed o1 angle o1 and i also constructed angle o2 because i wrote it and then i'm also gonna say i constructed what radii radii what o b and O D. That's what you're gonna write. That's your construction. Then now you're gonna prove, guys. This is the most interesting part. Every time when you're proving slightly quad, you always you will always use or you will always apply two other theorems from Euclidean geometry. Which one? You will always prove this. You you'll always use this one. Angles around the point that this plus this should give me 360 revolution. That's the first one you're gonna apply. And the second one that you're going to apply is angle at center. You know, when you have a, this something like this, right? You're going to apply that angle at center is twice the angle at the circumference. And another way that you're going to apply it is when it's something like this, right? When the center is here, you're going to say angle at center is twice the angle at the circumference. So you're using two theorems. This one, these two, or these ones are just one theorem pre pre uh, presented in different ways right so when you prove you go straight to there so i i prefer using angle at center is twice the angle at the circumference as my first theorems to apply when i prove right so i'm gonna start by saying right guys look look acknowledge that we have this o1 here this o1 where when you remember our radii here and our radii here if you remember our radii acknowledge that the this point on the circumference b and this point on the circumference d they make arc d b and this arc d b subtends o1 and it also subtends c so the angle at the center is o1 and an angle at the circumference will be c which means o1 will be twice c do you get it guys so because of that i'm gonna write it i'm gonna say O1 is equal to 2 angle C. Let me erase this part first. First, I'm going to say... <laughs> done. Right? Then I'm going to say now, I'm going to say my resin here will be what? My resin will be angle at center is equal to 
two times angle at circumference. Circum. Circum, not circum, okay? Then, remember, I said O1 is twice C. Now, let's identify the second one now. When you look at this one here, angle O2, right? It's subtended by, when you look at B and D, this arc DB. This arc DB subtends O2 here, right? And it also subtends A here. So basically, the angle at the center, which is O2, will be twice the angle at the circumference, which is A. So I'm going to go straight to that and also write it as my second step in my proof. I'll say what? O2 is equal to 2A, right? Then after, I will say, now I want to add my O1 and my O2. Remember, angles around their points. So I'm just going to go straight to saying O1 plus O2 should give me 360 degrees. My resin is what? But remember, guys, let me write the resin for the previous one. It's going to be angle at center is equals to 2 times angle at circum. Right? And now I can write the resin for, for this one here. This one is, is angles round a point. Right? Basically, this plus this is 360. Now that I got that one, right, guys, I'm going to say I will substitute O1 with what O1 is equal to here. O1 is equal to 2C. So, therefore, where I see O1, I'll substitute with 2C. Got it? And then I will also go to O2. I'll say where I see O2, I'll substitute it with what O2 is equal to here, which is 2a so where i see o2 i'll substitute by 2a makes sense therefore let's just present it and see how it's gonna go so o1 is equals to 2c then i'm just gonna write 2c plus and o2 is what is 2a so i'm just gonna be 2a and it's equals to 360 degrees i'm just substituting clear so basically guys after applying those two theorems the angle at center is twice the angle at the circumference and angles around the point you just substitute the center angles with the ones at the circumference from the angle at center twice the angle at the circumference makes sense it's just substitution so it's basically theorem theorem substitution that's that's the flow right remember you must just flow here right so now that you got that guys i have 2c and i have 2a i don't want 2c and 2a i want what a and c only Remember here, I only have A and C. So because I only want A and C, I have to divide by 2 all the terms. So I'll take this term and divide by 2. Take this term, divide by 2. Take this part and divide by 2. So that, so that I can eliminate the coefficients of C and A. And therefore, the 2s will cancel each other. And then I'll be left with what? I'll be left with angle C plus angle A is equals to 360 divided by 2 is 180. Clear, ne? This is easy, guys, so far. Now, you can see that our required to prove and our answer here, which is our therefore, are the same. But I prefer that the last, the last step, when you write it, it should be exactly what you got in your question. So, I'm going to go straight here and I will rewrite this as my last step. Clear? So, I'm just going to be like, therefore, therefore what? D, A, B, plus... B, C, D is equals to 180 degrees. Then you are done. That's how you prove that this angle plus this angle, when you add them, they give you 180. They are supplementary. This is the proof. Remember the flow. You start by constructing a radii. Then you label your center. Then you're going to say this one is equals to 2, this one. Then you say this one here is equals to 2, this one, right? And now you're going to say this one give me a rotation, angles around the point. So I'm going to add 1 plus 2. And then on O1 and O2, you substitute O1 by what O1 is equals to. You substitute O2 by what O2 is equals to. Then you divide by 2 in all the terms. That's it. 
That's it. That's the flow. Just say I'm going to start with angles at center is twice the angle at the circumference. I get all of them, two of them. Then I use the revolution angles around the point. Then I substitute and then I divide by two. That's the flow. So you can never forget this. Come on, guys. You can never come on, guys. Just tell me that you went like, ah, on this one again, right? Anyway, remember, guys, there's something that you also have to do when you understand, right? So that others can also understand. They can be like you. They can also get the concept. Remember, it's to do what? You subscribe so that other people can see that, no, man, we understand out here. And after subscribing, obviously, you have classmates and friends and all that. What do you do when you find something very nice that you can share? You share it, right? So you subscribe and share. You can also like and comment if you are a nice person, but it's up to you, okay? Otherwise, yeah.